हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर रवि प्रोफेसर ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टुडे इज टॉपिक इज आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ हेक्सागोनल प्रिज्म कीपिंग एक्सिस वर्टिकल एंड द डायमेंशंस गिवन आर एज व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड साइट 30 एमएम एंड हाइट ऑफ द प्रिज्म इज 65 एमएम सो द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस इज when ever you are going for a prism you need to draw whenever in a prism it involves non isometric lines it involves non isometric lines you have to draw the orthographic view see the top view of the your hexagonal prism is uh, hexagon that you have to draw the orthographic view that is top view so there are two configurations and the simplest way of uh, drawing uh, hexagon is uh, circle method let us draw the circle with the given radius radius here it is uh, 30 mm the edge itself is uh, now you want to keep that uh, edge horizontal you need to draw a horizontal diameter the two end points i centers with the same radius above and below above and below and join in proper sequence and you are going to get the required hexagon such that your uh, edge is horizontal the other configuration possible you can give the naming so here it is a b c d e and of course f if you want to keep uh, the edge vertical let us draw the vertical diameter the ends as uh, centers with the same radius that is 30 mm cut either of the sides and this is center either of the side such that you are going to get the edges or vertical so here you have only possible configurations are only two now we are considering the edge is uh, horizontal so with that we will proceed to how to draw the isometric view of a hexagonal prism and the top view of uh, the hexagon you are going to draw in isometric view as you know very well let us draw a horizontal line and to the right of it is 30 degrees and to the left of it is 30 degrees draw this line and remember one important thing whenever you have non isometric lines you have to inscribe in a rectangle because uh, it involves non isometric lines you are making that it is inscribed in isometric lines let us give the numbering 1 Two, three, and four. So first, you need to draw the parallelogram for one, two, three, four, which is a rectangle, and this reference is uh, your point one, and to the right of it is. Let us mark with the help of compass. That is point two, and to the left of it is. It is a point four, and uh, draw parallel to thirty degree line, and again parallel to the left side thirty degree line. complete the parallelogram and this is your 3 and height is given 65 mm from each point from 1 you draw the given height is 65 mm this is 65 mm height from 2 you draw the 65 mm height and from 3 draw the 65 mm height and finally from 4 also draw the 65 mm height and uh, this you can observe these are parallels and these are the parallels right this is nothing but your 1 2 3 4 you got 1 2 3 4 the bottom end face as in the as well as the top end face now you need to you have to use compass and from 1 this 1a 2b 3d and 4e all are equal so let us mark let us locate a and you will be using capital letters i am marking capital letter a and here it is b to be say with the same radius with the help of compass and from 3 here this is point d and finally this is your point e observe carefully the c is the midpoint and here f also midpoint you got all the points and join in proper sequence 
with head B pencil. I am joining A B B C C D D E E F and F A. The top view of the hexagonal prism, you got it. Now, in the same manner, let us locate with the help of a compass all these points. So this is your point E, and from 2 it is B, from 3 it is D, and from 4 it is point E. And C is, of course, its midpoint, and here F also midpoint. Now, here you must be a bit careful. What you have to do is uh, first you join the borders of the solid, that is what is very important. You have to join the borders. I am joining from let us see here A to B and uh, B to C, here from B to longitudinal edge I am drawing, you are, I am not joining B to C because it is in sight and uh, let us see here I am joining uh, A and F, this is also border and uh, I am joining F and F, let us see E point is here longitudinal edge and F is longitudinal edge and uh, this longitudinal edge is in front of the observer. So, it is here A. So, you can erase all these lines in order to improve the visibility of this uh, solid. You can erase in uh, isometric as you know, the hidden edges can be avoided so that the visibility of the object improves. So, this you can mark with HB pencil. Now, you can see that four longer edges are visible and bottom here it is E, E, F, 1, 2, 3 are visible. Three are inside the, the bottom edge and face is inside which is not visible. And uh, so, with this you can proceed to practice. Uh, thank you.